related video these are like one of my favorites to film because they're just so quick and so simple and so chilled but i say quick they can take a couple of hours and they can take some money but they're one that you don't have to think too much about and that's what i really like so we're back with a number one and today we have one with a little bit of a difference to what i normally do you guys know i love me a zara haul and i'm not gonna lie we do have quite a few zara pieces in today's video but it's not just zara we actually have a wide range of things so we're going to be filming a winter essential winter basics haul i did go shopping today and picked up some stuff for me to go into the new year with because it's actually december 26th today and i woke up just feeling like my new year starts today so i was just so excited to get myself up get myself out there so that i could pick some things up that are a reflection of the woman i want to be in 2023 like the past few weeks past few months i have not been walking in my bad bitch energy i have not been walking in my it girl energy and i just really want that to change so for me the new year starts today and i picked up a lot of things that i feel like are really going to help me walk in my purpose and just let me feel like that girl again because i've definitely been missing that part of me like i said to you guys in my recent zara haul that i'm just i i have I've been acting like an old woman, not even a grown woman, like a straight up old woman. And I hate that for me. Like I'm young, I'm thriving, I'm cute and I want my wardrobe to be a reflection of that. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So for those of you that are new here, my name is Delicia. On my channel, we do a lot of fashion, lifestyle, personal development related content. And we do a lot of hauls. We do a lot of Zara hauls mainly. But for the new year i definitely want to switch it up so we're gonna get straight into today's video and i really hope you guys enjoy it so the very first thing that we have is a handbag and i'm definitely very very late when it comes to joining the coach trends when this bag first came out i went in the store and i tried it on and i actually didn't like it like i, I thought mm, it's not all that maybe because it was just so over like we were it was flooding Instagram. We were very much overwhelmed by it. So maybe that's why I didn't like it at the time. However, I bought my mum this bag for Christmas and I actually liked it so much that I had to go back and get myself one. And yeah, it's so cute. So you guys already know what bag this is because it's Coach and there's only one popular bag in Coach. But to be honest with you, Coach is doing really, really well when it comes to their handbags. So let's go ahead and open it up. So it comes in this dust bag. So I got the Coach Pillow Tabby and it is in this stunning forest green and it has the gold hardware. And I got the bigger version. So they do have a mini version but I'm over mini bags right now because they're just so impractical. Like I need a bag where I can fit all of my necessities and you just can't really do that with a mini bag. Whereas this bag is a gorgeous size. It will definitely fit a purse, it will fit your keys, it will fit a few bits and bobs and it will go ahead and fit your phone as well. The way it comes, you can actually just like hold it like a clutch bag if you want to, or you can go ahead and add all of the straps. So I'm like a side bag kind of girl. So I will definitely go ahead and attach the long strap but i will also attach the short top handle strap as well because i like the look of both of the straps being on the bag so this is the bag i got and it is actually such a gorgeous color i feel like green you can actually wear green with so many things like you can wear this with navy blue you can wear it with pink black white red like literally be my guest you can definitely do what you want do as you please with this color some people might think it will be quite restrictive, but I see endless opportunities when I see this color. So this is what it looks like with just the top handle. This is such a grown, sophisticated bag. I honestly love it. But yeah, I'm not, a, even though this is so cute, I'm not the girl that wears her bags like this. Like, I just feel like that is just, it just feels, 
I don't know it feels very awkward for me but I guess if I go out to dinner then I will definitely wear it like this however on the day-to-day -day, me I will wear my bags to the ground like I'm not the type of person where I was like oh it's a designer bag or oh it cost me x amount of money so I'm only gonna wear it on special occasions I will wear this every single day if I want to because I feel like you can attract more things in your life when you just treat them normally like don't put it on a pedestal so I will definitely be having the long strap attached to it and I will definitely be using the long, the long strap pretty much every single time I wear it. That is stunning. And I feel like this colour is such a gorgeous winter colour as well. So I love this. So the next thing we have are some trainers. I'm absolutely in love with New Balance at the moment. I feel like they are so comfortable and very stylish as well. And they just give me grown middle class mum vibes. And you guys know that's exactly what I'm on. So I went ahead and picked up another colorway of the 530. At the minute, I've got the gray ones. But I walked into office today and I saw this navy blue and I thought, oh, definitely have to have these. So this is what they look like. I know these shoes aren't for everyone but I love them they're so comfortable and I feel like you can literally wear them with so much I like to wear them with just some leggings tracksuit jeans just something very casual something very dressed down because I'm not gonna lie you can't really dress these up but at the same time if you if you're a fashion girl then you definitely know how to dress this up however I wear these as more of like my everyday run around shoes or just like my shoes that I would run errands in what I use to go to the supermarket go shopping just something more casual um because i look for that comfortability factor and i feel like these 100 have them look at that that is just i feel like they're so cute um when i went to the shop to get them today the girl who served me was actually wearing this and they just looked so cute on her feet the only thing i don't like about them is like looking at them the size six looks really long and that's kind of annoying me so depending on how i feel i might go back and get my actual size or i'll try them on with a few outfits and see if the size six are okay but i think they're good to go for now then i went to and other stories and i picked myself up another pair of shoes but this one is a little bit different so we have these fluffy pink sliders they're actually on sale and they are 45 pounds i got them in a size six and i would say size six is my size for like shoe like shoes where you just like slide your feet into them and like heels and stuff so this is the perfect size so if you know you wear a size up in heels then definitely go ahead and get a size up in these i'm gonna make sure i try and link everything down below as well they had mo multiple colors in this they had like a white and they had a nude but the way my mind works is if it comes in pink i'm gonna get the pink like i'm just always gonna get the pink the white were actually like proper pearl white and i just thought that's a bit imp impractical like i'm gonna wear them outside so there's a strong chance they will get messy and i don't want that you can definitely wear them outside as well because the bottoms are hard the only thing i would say is don't wear them on a day where it's going to be raining because it can definitely like seep through the fur even though this part does feel like the inside feels very well lined with leather as well and it does seem like it'll be fine but you don't want the fur to get matted so i highly recommend just wear them when it is actually just completely dry outside these are also very cute I did get myself a hat because i've decided like wearing wigs is a struggle and i don't want to have to like glue them on every single day so i want to like build my collection of really nice silk scarves but also really nice trendy and fashionable hats so i got this hat i i can't explain what this reminds me of i feel like it's very parisian or like a sailor hat and it's really cute the only bad thing about this is it does attract like a lot of fluff so you're gonna have to use like a lint roller to clean it i'll show you guys what it looks like on that is so cute 
I love a hat. I'm always wearing a hat. If you see me outside, nine times out of ten, I'm gonna be wearing a hat. But I usually wear like woolly hats or baseball caps, and that's just not given stylish. And I really want like that stylish, fashionable look. So I feel like a hat this shape makes so much more sense. Like imagine this with like an all black outfit with like a little um, what do you call it? A body warmer and some boots, like some knee high boots. That would actually look really good so when it comes to winter there are two types of dresses i like to have i like all of my dresses to be long in the winter time because it's just cold and i'm at that age now where it matters <laughs> like i'm definitely dressing according to the weather when i was younger i was that type of person i was like i do not care what the weather's like outside if i want, want to wear a mini skirt that's exactly what i'm gonna do whereas now god forbid i can't do it so the very first dress i would recommend is to have something really heavy in your wardrobe something long something like a midi or a midaxi and something that is made of like knit or wool so that you can definitely stay warm so the very first one we have is this high neckline mid axi dress which it just really holds your figure in so i picked this up from zara over the weekend and i actually wore this on christmas day and i was so warm the whole entire day it has this really gorgeous print and it's obviously long sleeve high neckline and the bottom kind of comes out like that and it's just absolutely gorgeous i picked this up in a size small and it was 49.99 however zara is on sale at the minute so hopefully they have it on sale i'm going to try my hardest to link this one down below for you guys because i've definitely lost the receipt and the tag isn't on it anymore so i'm going to try my hardest to find it and link it down below but this one's just such a stunning dress and it just makes so much sense you can wear this with some knee-high boots and then that way you'll be completely covered like the the kind of material this is like you can definitely get away with wearing something quite thin as a coat you don't have to layer up too much because it will 100% keep you warm second kind of dress I would recommend is a turtleneck so this is I'm not sure if you guys saw my last Zara haul but I had a cold set which was part of the limited contour collection and this dress is also a part of the limited contour collection it is made from the same material and it is just super thick and super stretchy it's in this gorgeous brown color it's a really high neckline but it's also really long as well so I would say this is a maxi dress I got this in an extra small to small and it's on sale at the minute for $17.99 and this dress honestly is 100% going to keep you warm in the winter even though it doesn't have any arms but to go ahead and cover up I will highly recommend putting on like a little bi biker coat over it and then you have a completed look like it's on Honestly, stunning you can also wear this with boots or you can wear this with some sneakers and it will just be perfect like I'm planning on wearing this with like the mini Ugg boots because I feel like it will just give me that super casual super relaxed vibe that I'm going for now we have quite a few tops I love like a really basic plain top and I like to have them in multiple cuts and multiple materials and I like to have them in multiple colors as well so I kind of went a little bit crazy when it came to the tops the first one I got is this emerald green low neckline top and I got it in a size medium and it was $9.99 this top and like quite a few tops that Zara are doing at the minute reminds me of Skims. So that's why I went ahead and picked this up. I really wish they had like some leggings to go with it because it would have just given me that completed Skims look and it's just gorgeous. I love it. I love the colour. I think this will look really good with gold jewellery especially because like the neckline is just like this actually this is what it's like then i have a, another green top this one is long sleeve and the material is a little bit thin so you might want to put something under it this i got it in a size small and it was 9.99 it is quite stiff so i would say to size up because there's not much stretch to it like i think a uh, medium would have done me a lot better but i really like the sage green color and it's just a perfect basic number that you can wear with some jeans and some leggings then i got this pink cross top again it reminds me of skims and you know skims they did like a little pink collection that's what it reminds me of so i got this in a medium and it was 5.99 it's just a really cute bubblegum pink crop top that you can literally wear with some jeans some tracksuit bottoms leggings literally whatever you want that's how you can wear it 
Then I got like this really boxy t-shirt in hot pink. I got it in a size small and it was $9.99. I do think a medium would have been a lot better because I like the oversized look when it comes to t-shirts. I'd rather it be like baggy rather than fitted because when it's fitted it looks a little bit awkward. But this is just a perfect t-shirt just for one to go and run around in. Then I picked up this ivory bodysuit. I got this in a size small and it was $12.99. The material is just stunning. It is really nice. Again, it's another piece that reminds me of Skims. I got this in a green, I think, last time or a brown. I can't actually remember. But I did say I want to like go back and get more of these colours because they're just perfect. Like I love to just have tops that I can wear with whatever bottom I want. And I like to be able to build outfits around my tops. And I think that is the best thing about winter. You can get the most basic thing and then just start to build an outfit around it. And that's exactly what you can do with this bodysuit. Actually, I just remembered I got it in black the last time. And then finally from Zara, I, I not the final thing from Zara, but the final like top from Zara. I got this turtleneck ribbed charcoal gray long sleeve top, which has like, this kind of effect around the wrist and also around the hem of the top as well. And it's just really nice and flattering. It's very figure hugging. I got this before it went on sale. So I got it in a size small and it was $22.99, but I'll definitely put the link down below so you guys can see if it's gone down in price. And then I got some tops from H&M as well. I think H&M is the best place to go for basic tops that you just want to add to your wardrobe so that you can build around it and create a staple piece and create like some staple wardrobe essentials. H&M is definitely the place for that. So I just got a basic white t-shirt, which is in this really nice stretchy material. I got this in a size small and it was $5.99. And then I got another white t-shirt, but this time it's a v-neck. So I got this in a v-neck and I got it in a size extra small and it was a $5.99. With my white t-shirts, I like to, like I said, I like to have loads of different cuts and loads of different styles because I don't want it to look like I'm just wearing the same white t-shirt over and over again. So I might have a v-neck, I might have one that's like a curved neckline, one might be a sweetheart neckline, one might be a turtleneck. You have to switch up. Um, because I feel like certain trousers look better with certain cut tops. So that's why I like to switch it up and I like to have multiple choices. Finally, in the tops from H&M, I just got this black vest. I do also have it in white and honestly, it just goes with everything. I sometimes throw it on with leggings, jeans, skirt, literally whatever I want, I throw it on. So when I saw the black, I thought I definitely have to get it. It's like a halter neck and I got it in a size small and it actually doesn't say the price, but it's definitely less than $12.99 and the material is just incredible. It is so thick and super stretchy as well. We all know when it comes to a winter wardrobe, you have to have some knit pieces as well. So I highly recommend getting knit jumpers. I do have two to show you in this haul. So the very first one is this knitted jumper from Zara. And it just has just an amazing silhouette. I can't even explain it to you guys properly. Hopefully you can see it. So that's what the shoulders look like. And then it cinches in at the waist and it's just extremely flattering. And it has like a slight balloon sleeve as well. I got this in a size small and I got it for $22.99 from $32.99. So it was 10 pounds off. And I feel like this will look really good with some leggings and some boots. And then I just got a cardigan. So this was in pink. Pink is my favorite color. I saw it, I couldn't leave it just because if it's pink, I have to have it. I got this in a medium and it was $22.99. I've been seeing this cardigan for ages, but I guess I just didn't want to buy it because of the original price of it. It was $32.99. And even though it's not a lot, it just wasn't the right price for me to want to go and get it. But when I saw it for $22.99, I thought, mm, let me get it. I feel like every single winter wardrobe needs a co-ward. So the very first one is obviously going to be a tracksuit. So in H&M, I picked up a navy blue tracksuit and they actually have this in so many different colors. They've got like a baby pink, they've got white, they've got gray, but I wanted navy blue to go with my new trainers. So it's honestly just a very plain tracksuit, but I think they are the best for the winter time. I did get this in a size medium, however, I love the oversized boyfriend looking look. So I think a size large would have been much better, even though they're obviously big for me. 
the large will give me the exact fit I'm looking for. So I got it in the medium and it was 12 99 So this is the bottom. And then I also got the matching jumper as well. And it just has like these huge pockets in the middle. The medium of the jumper fits perfectly. So that is the right size for me. And it has a hoodie and the jumper was... $17.99 and I think that's just like an incredible price for a tracksuit you don't have to go all out spending hundreds of pounds on a tracksuit you can just get something plain and then add your accessories and do whatever it is you want to do to dress this up final cold I got is definitely for like the gym or for like training or for yoga or something like that however I don't know about you guys but for me I think gym clothes looks banging as like everyday wear and this one is honestly incredible so we have like this they call them training pants however they do remind me of yoga pants because they are so fitted and they have like a slight flare towards the end and then i got a top to go with it as well but i'm not sure if the top if they actually match because the top has like a wavy pattern effect whereas this one has a straight pattern but they are the i'm not even sure if they're the exact same color but you can definitely wear this as a cohort so i got the top in a medium and it was 17.99 and the bottoms were 19.99 i feel like it's really important to have a very good pair of denim jeans and i prefer this dark blue color when it comes to jeans and i love a mum fit because i feel like they just look super super clean they don't like they're, they're clean they're comfortable skinny jeans they're just too tight for me and it just feels uncomfortable throughout the day whereas mum jeans you can literally wear them all day and they don't feel like you're suffocating so i picked up some mum jeans from bashka and i got this in a size 10 i don't have the price tag on it so i actually can't remember how much they are but i will link them down below i picked up this trench coat from and other stories and it's actually on sale at the minute i can't remember what the sale price is and um, i did get this in a size 10 and it's in like this nylon material it's super thick and it actually keeps me really warm so it has a waist belt which i like to tie super tight because i like to, i like my trench coats to look quite puffy at the bottom and it's just stunning it's so sophisticated it's giving me class it's giving me fashion it's giving me everything that it is that i want that i need and it's honestly super gorgeous so i'm also going to link this down below for you guys as well and that is everything in today's haul i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what your favorite piece was let me know if you enjoy videos like this so that i know if i should do one for like summer or autumn fall or whatever it is just let me know in the comment section down below make sure you are subscribed make sure you give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one we're on the road to 10k and i would really appreciate it if you guys could help me reach that goal within the next few weeks that would actually be incredible so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye